Presidential candidates all making their pitch. The United Food and Commercial Workers International Union held its second presidential forum with candidates. KCCI's Alex Schumer was there and he listened to what they all had to say. Alex. Yeah, Max and Laura, today focused on wages and health care benefits, but the candidates also talked impeachment, including a pledge from former Vice President Joe Biden not to let any member of his family serve in his White House. Six candidates, former Vice President Joe Biden, Governor Steve Bullock, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, Senators Kamala Harris and Michael Bennett, plus Senator Bernie Sanders via Skype. We have got to do a democratic socialism which makes government work for the working families of this country. Each answering questions on why they deserve the support of the United Food and Commercial Workers International Union's 1.3 million members. When the union movement's strong, that's how everybody comes up. I'm always going to conduct trade policy in a way that it is not about exporting American jobs, it's about exporting American products. We borrowed $5 trillion from the Chinese to cut taxes for the wealthiest Americans and make the income inequality worse in this country. Winning endorsements from unions like the UFCW can be critical for Democrats during the primaries and caucuses. They offer mobilized boots on the ground who can volunteer and help with retail politics. How is it possible that you can work full time and live in poverty in this country? Besides labor and health care, candidates also talked impeachment. Former Vice President Joe Biden, unlike the others who spoke, is fighting accusations at the heart of the impeachment inquiry in Washington. My son and I do not and never have, nor did my son, the attorney general, and I talk about their policies at all. He pledged not to let any member of his family work in the federal government if he wins or work with a foreign country. No one in my family will have an office in the White House, will sit in meetings as if they're a cabinet member, will in fact have any business relationship with anyone that re relates to a foreign corporation or a foreign country, period. The United Food and Commercial Workers International Union endorsed Hillary Clinton in 2016. They have not made their choice yet for 2020. Alex, thank you. We are now 113 days away from the 2020 Iowa caucuses. We will continue to bring you the latest on all the candidates leading up to the big day.